Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, and today I'd like to talk to you about developing Christ-like character. What I've been calling Habitus is really another way of naming character. John Maxwell once said, your character is essentially the sum of your habits. It is how you habitually act. And if we want to grow a holy Habitus, if we want to become more Christ-like in our character, how do we go about that? Well, 2 Peter chapter 1 is a great passage to look into. You might want to pause this video and read that right now, or else reflect on it more deeply later in the week. But it's got some great stuff in there, and it starts out by saying how our works really are secondary to the work of Christ. Um, to those who have received a faith as precious as ours through the righteousness of our God and Saviour Jesus Christ, verse 1. That Jesus Christ has earned our salvation, he has redeemed us, and it is his work that has made us are holy in him. He goes on, verse 3, his divine power has given us everything needed for life and godliness through that knowledge of him who called us. Now this is great, with that salvation we've received, with that salvation package as it were, we have received every tool and piece of equipment that we need in order to live the Christ-like life and, and to be godly and holy in our habitus. Um, and that's really an encouragement and he says by that we can escape the corruption of the world and instead become participants, verse 4, in the divine nature. We can become like God, Christ-like. And for this very reason, verse 5, he goes on, you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness, knowledge, self-control, endurance, godliness and mutual affection and love. This lovely little cascade of virtues, of character traits that are Christ-like. But notice in verse 5 he says, you must make every effort. There is something for us to do. There is a follow-on work to the work of Christ and that is that we as disciples need to um, become intentional, to use the modern buzzword, or make every effort to use this one, to apply elbow grease in growing in Christ-likeness. We need to cooperate with the Holy Spirit as he seeks to produce the fruit of the Spirit in us. Um, so are there some of these things that we need to get intentional about growing in? Goodness, knowledge, self-control or discipline, it's essential for being a disciple. Endurance or patience, I guess you could say, in the face of life circumstances. Godliness, righteous living. Mutual affection, um, love and uh, the bonds of affection in relationship and community. And love, that capstone virtue. The challenge this week is what can we do to grow in those things? What concrete actions can we apply ourselves to in order to grow in that? And when we do, it says later, that will keep us from being ineffective and unfruitful. Let's aim and strive for that this week.